for today's cup of coffee, we're going to be doing a bit of free form. I thought for a minute we were just going to have to do a momentary espresso shot where I called out for prayers and youngest kid was screaming in the background. We think he has a kidney stone. I'll do that right now. No, here, here. no, no, I'll no. I'll he's not in pain like he was earlier this morning. But he's been having signs and symptoms for a few days. He's had them before. But now his are not gargantuan as far as he's got like these kind of like little specks. Oh! <laughs> That's enough once it's... Oh! So we're trying to, I'm trying to encourage him to drink more fluids. I think it's what causes them in both of us is that we have a tendency to sip on liquids instead of actually drinking liquids. I don't drink. I drink liquids. I just don't drink water. Well, it's just not, not necessarily water, but I when you drink, drink soda, water. when you drink soda a lot, that can cause them. And some people just have genetics that they are, uh, you know, pre predestined predestined <laughs> oh what are the it is too late in the evening to try to even be clever so, genetically genetically modified that, that you're gonna have the damn things and that does run in our family unfortunately yes so yeah we will we, we will. will but what we're gonna be talking about today on this one thing is that we have got this weirdness. We're like this, you know, Alice in Wonderland things. Such as things seem to be shrinking. One pill makes you larger. <laughs> and one Absolutely. Pill makes and as she became larger, everything else shrank. And that's what they're doing, which they do call it shrinkflation. Yes. And it's like you're paying the same amount, if not more. And I'm like, the product where the fuck is my cake? Going less where, where's and my less. Swiss roll? This ain't my Swiss roll. <laughs> my, well, my Swiss roll has has shrunk like half a size. Yeah. Same for my honey bun. Yeah. Yeah. My damn Twinkie, man. Yeah. And it's another one of those things that, as far as uh, people... Of course, I'm not a big fan of the Twinkies anyway. I just... People trying to dictate what other people eat, what they're supposed to look like, how they're supposed to act, how they're supposed to talk. It's just like, leave them alone. Mind your business. Stay in your lane. Right. right. Work on your own damn self. We are here on our own path. Absolutely. And that's something that I have been, because I will ponder things. I don't obsess about things, but I ponder things. And if I don't understand something, I am turning into Columbo. I really am. And it was funny because... We are all a version of people that we have looked up to. I had said that uh, to husband a few days ago. He's like, honey, that's been happening for a while now. For a while now. now. <laughs> I was not offended. Since before. I was not offended. Oh. Since before but you started been, watching it. Yeah, and it's like even the hair is similar. I don't smoke a cigar. That is one thing. I, I do not have a trench coat, and I do not go around with a cigar. No, but we got them. We got we got trench coats in the basement. That's true. That's true. Courtesy of mine, me. mine would rather I would rather have the long black leather coats. That was it. So I'll be a goth version of Columbo. All right. I can do that. Yeah, I think those got outlawed back in the uh, you know, back in the nineties when. Um, it's uh, like let it go. Let when it uh, what, bring what back was that? That, that was Columbine. Columbine happened. Yeah. That form actually, of they're coming back now. Did not cause anybody to do anything. They're actually coming back now, finally, because right. uh, cyber white cyber y2k fashion well, that's good i love the cyberpunk had some really good fashion not cyberpunk not cyberpunk cyber y2k it's a whole okay, other I'll have to thing look into that. yeah i'll have to look into that but i like cyberpunk a lot mm -hmm. but as far as the size of the 
honey buns and even as far because i am diabetic and i was like you gotta avoid sugar no if my sugar tanks if i'm down below 80 and especially if i'm down near the 30s which is really spooky yeah and it's like i have to eat sugar have to that or i kind of die and I would right. rather not. I would go into a seizure and then die, which would freak kid out horribly. So, and everybody's like, "You diabetic? Cause you fat?" No, I became diabetic that, and then I got that fat. Or I would be like, "Seizure, seizure, seizure, seizure salad, oh, seizure." But you have to eat carbs, and for some of us, carbs make us fat. So it's not always the but other way But they're affordable around. and they're delicious. They are, and people don't understand that. But the thing is, there are such thing as healthy carbs. Uh, if your sugar is has dropped, because I've tried that before, I've tried doing the grape thing, and it did not work well at that's, all. That's different. So that's different. That's mm-hmm. that's a whole different thing. That's so why you, you 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 grab a soda, yeah, and and a pack of nabs. Yeah, because nabs are crackers, snack crackers for yeah those. Or y'all Hershey's Kiss. Because you have to, it's a matter of getting the glucose up quickly, and then you have the other carbs so that it stays leveled out for a while. Yeah. So. The people, I, I don't know, weird, unrealistic expectations. I, I about had my sugar drop in the middle of work one time, yeah. one day, and I'm like, oh shit, mm-hmm. the fuck's happening? And and my manager, who's was also like, diabetic, yeah, who was also diabetic, was like, oh, <laughs> go go to is. the break room, yeah. go sit your ass down, go eat you something, mm-hmm. go drink you something. Well, go, I, go sit down for a bit. You have two parents that are diabetic. Yeah. Yeah. One that's type 2 and was able to control his through diet. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I, I, because I'm an overachiever, I went from type 2 to type 1. I didn't even know you could do that. Didn't even know that was a possible thing. And my pancreas said, fuck you, I'm out. I think the last time my level... <laughs> fuck this shit, I'm out, uh-huh. It was like point zero zero. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but I don't really care. I'm gonna so, get the fuck up out of here. Fuck this but shit, But as I'm far out. as the shrinking of the products, it's like, stop that. And then people's like, I'm gonna make Shrinkflation. my own. And that's great if you have the time and the energy to do these things. There was a point when I was much younger... That I did do these things. But at this point... I would uh, like to because it's more meaningful. Yes. Plus it lasts a lot longer. And to an extent. It depends on what it is. Yeah. Now that is one thing about fresh baked goods. They do not have the shelf life as this other stuff. You know? Well, that's true. I'm, but I mean like... When you eat it, it lasts a lot longer. Like, oh, as far as the taste yeah. and the goodness and stuff. Yeah, yeah you take it and see that. I can see that. It has more richness mm-hmm. to it, more goodness. But it's not just the horror of the snack cakes or the little uh, individual, what am I thinking of, candies. Mm hmm. And, and then to add in, a, insult to injury, they've got this, a size on clothing that is like, they're not American sizes. So they'll shrink that a couple <sighs> of sizes, which makes everybody feel worse. The, yeah, the, especially like if you're ordering from uh asian websites oh, like, like sheen or it doesn't matter aliexpress it's, even it's from amazon asian made it's all asian made yeah <sighs> different body styles different different genetics not everybody is designed to be stick thin you know i was having an online discussion about that with someone earlier today and it's like not everybody, you know, God likes variety. Now, I'm not saying if somebody well, has got is, a severe, hang on, if somebody has got a severe weight issue, more than likely there is a medical condition 
It could be a medication that they're taking, or it is a trauma thing. Yeah. People don't realize that. That, and a lot of times you have people that are in the caregiving or caring professions, and a lot of times they will be heavy. Yeah. Because they spend their time taking care of others to the point there's nothing left for themselves. And so people, they want to sit there and go, oh, you slothful and, and you a gluttonous. And what they actually are is selfless. So I think the shallowness of people bother me. Speaking Now, what was you going to say? And then we'll go on to this next one. I can't remember now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This when ADHD collides. (laughs) Speaking of unrealistic, this quest for eternal youth. That's been going on forever. Plastic surgery. And if I can remember to, I will leave a link. I didn't even go into depth on the article here from Daily Mail. And they're saying what middle-aged used to look like, how stars... Uh, from way back or not that way back looked versus today yeah and it's they had like angela lansbury and betty white and some of these people and they looked like ladies that were aging they They were elegant looking yeah and then for today they've got madonna as an example yeah and it's like I don't think so. Does anybody... How many 64-year-olds want to look like that? I don't... That's scary. I don't know. There is nothing wrong with aging. There's nothing wrong with being 60-some, 70-some, 80-some, and looking like it. She is one that is honestly, truly trying to turn back clock and doing it Mm -mm. she's just batshit crazy is what she is and she looks bizarre and not in a happy way i have an issue though with them doing it with dolly parton though they got her up as an example they do they do because she is 77 years old she has had so much plastic surgery that her belly button is probably on the top of her head yeah but the thing is she's never She's already made jokes about that left, right, up, down. I understand that. But uh, unrealistic expectations. Just like wanting everybody to be a size negative one. She's made it very transparent that it has been nothing but plastic surgery. It makes people, when they are aging and aging naturally, to feel bad about themselves because they look like the age they are. Why? And this is part of this deception. This is part of the psyops to make us doubt ourselves. We give our power to the beast when we do this stuff. That's like I was telling you earlier. Social media has ruined many people because they see these 30-second clips of somebody's life and it's like, oh, everything is wonderful all the time. And it's like, no, you lying. You've got a micro-minute... And other people are judging their lives by that micro minute? I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's just like the shrinking snack cakes. We've got shrinking uh, brain power. And to turn the shit off. Seriously. When you when you feel yourself... I'm spitting and sputtering this, this evening. When you find yourself in that mindset... To where you're doubting yourself, your value, anything like that, turn the shit off for a minute and go watch Columbo or SpongeBob or something. So, were they trying to shrink stuff? We trying to build people up. Mm-mm, I ain't going to have it. I am not having the, the demons of this world knock people down. Not nope. our people. Nope. So, that's worth fighting for. Yeah. Final thoughts. I want my regular snack cakes back. <laughs> right now, you for your kidneys, honest to God, you need to go in there and drink a beer. He will be 24. He's much, he's of legal age. I want my damn big cans of PBR back. Oh, God, you've never had one. You've just heard of them. 
I can't find them anywhere. That's because I can't find the big bottles either. They may no longer exist. Bring them back. That's, That's why I need, said bring them back. Go to a truck stop and try to find you one. That's probably about the only place that carries those these days. Gas stations. Bring them back. Not the gas stations near us, though. So you can go in there and do one of the low-carb beers that will clean out your kidneys. Why not I one had, of the gas stations near us? I'm not going out because I'm not going out. It's 30-some degrees. I'm not going out. Honestly, I have had medical professionals suggest for the kidney stones to do that occasionally to help flush the kidneys out. I'm not even That's a an age-old suggestion for anybody who's had kidney stones. Now, if you can't do the beer, then it's a matter of doing some lemon water and different things like that. I'm not even that much of a beer drinker. Uh, I'm not even a beer drinker. If you think you've got a kidney stone, go in there and, you know, tip one back, honey. Seriously. <laughs> You're going to do your spiel. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and most of all, subscribe and click that notification button for daily notifications of our daily uploads. You're not doing that no. composer bullshit today <laughs> this time and not distracting my ass, so I'm actually able to do my shit this time. So, that's it. <laughs> yeah, have a good. Uh, this was just a little cup to let you all know that you're loved. Truly. And then... Maureen and Foreseen will be back on with our regularly scheduled programming the next day. Uh -huh. If you want to send us an email, cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com. At some point, I will catch up with everything, and that includes comments on some of the other uh, at channels, some point. on some of the other things. It's just some days I've got more energy than others, and they it's been scary. Some days! Yeah. So... Know that you're loved, and we will see you on the next cut. Yes. Bye. Bye.